Hey, what's up there everybody? This is 22 Tiger Dude here, aka Tony. And yeah, I know, I know, I am actually doing a video. And obviously, I'm not counting the videos I've done with my friends for these past couple of years. I'm talking like just a good old fashioned solo video that I am actually doing for my channel. Because the last time I've done a solo video, which is probably why this is a bigger deal than it needs to be, is the Sonic the Hedgehog review I did back in 2020. And you're probably wondering, why am I recording this video? Bull Moose, a couple of my friends, Adam Haskell and Brian Mendoza, who, who have been on my channel before, they are the reasons I have known about Bull Moose. I did actually get my first purchases from them last year. I got the Child's Play DVD. I got the Adam's Family Double Pack DVD from them. And I actually got two mystery DVDs from them. I got Lost in Translation and Night at the Museum. So this video I'm doing is for the DVD grab that I decided to get from them. Their 10 disc DVD grab where you have no idea what movies you're going to get. They're the mystery ones and I figured that could be a lot of fun. And while I was doing that, I did order myself the 10 disc case from eBay, which I got a good deal on right here. So I don't know if you can see the inside, but a little bit. I know it's kind of, yeah, it's kind of hard to do right now, but yeah, there you go. Now, as I am recording this, I am actually recording this portion after already having recorded my unboxing for the grab bag. I recorded that portion of the video first because I was so eager to see what was inside this because it was my first time doing the grab bag. You know, without further ado, let's just get to it. Let's get to my Bull Moose DVD grab bag, I guess you could say unboxing. So here you go. Okay, here I am right here with the 10 DVD grab bag right here. This is me opening it, having no idea what the 10 movies are, but let me just, of course, remove the top here, right here, and the journey shall begin. Okay, I removed the staples on both sides right here. And now we're going to take a look inside. Okay. So what 10 discs do we got here? This should be interesting. Oh, the other guys. I already own this one, but on Blu-ray. Um, so, uh, yeah, uh, I own the other guys twice now. So, that's very interesting. So, there you go. That's number one. Okay, next one here I got is Lock, Stock, and Two Smoking Barrels, which I actually have not seen yet. I've been meaning to check this out for a long time, but I haven't. But um, I own this on DVD now. I have never owned it. So there you go. Uh, next one up is Kick-Ass, which um, I already own. I actually have the still book for Kick-Ass. Um, so I already have it on Steelbook and all that, but you know, you can't go wrong because it is indeed a kick-ass movie. Disc number four, The Boondock Saints. Oh, nice. This is one I have not seen, never owned, but now I can finally check it out soon because I have it. So awesome. Okay. Okay. Nice. That's actually one that's been on my watch list uh, for some time. So there you go. Okay, and then the next one up, it's the Boondock Saints, but the unrated special edition. Okay, so I guess I own both editions of the Boondock Saints right there. Next one up is Slumdog Millionaire, which I have seen. I have never owned it, but... Um, 
I know it's a movie that got a lot of attention, and it's really beloved, but I personally just thought this one was okay. I didn't really care too much for it, to be honest, but hey, uh, I guess I own it now, so there you go. Next one up is Inside Out. Um... Funny enough, I did own this, but I actually have no idea what happened to my Blu-ray copy of it. So, in a, in a funny way, it's actually a good thing that I do own this, because I've actually been meaning to get, like, a new, you know, copy of it for some time. So, hey, you know, this actually works out. So, thank you, Boom Moose, for uh, helping me own Inside Out again. Next one up is Django Unchained, which I already own on DVD, so I guess I own this one twice, but hey, it's one of my favorite Tarantino movies. It's in my top three, of course, in my own personal opinion. Next one up here we got is West Side Waltz, The West Side Waltz, and I actually have never seen this one. I don't even think I've heard of it, but hey, it's another movie for me to watch for the first time, so I'll take it. I'll absolutely take it. Very, very neat. Now we get on to my 10th and final disc in here, so... What's going to be the grand finale to this whole thing? The final one is Hannah and her sisters. Never ever have seen this one. Uh, never have heard of it either. But hey, once again, that's another first time watch for me right there very soon. But the weird thing is, I guess you could say technically it's nine movies, just because I have the two editions of the Boondock Saints, so it's not like a complete ten, but uh, I do have ten discs, and I'll say for the ten discs, I'm definitely very happy with, so, um, you know, the other guys, that's a hilarious movie, but it is funny that I have that one twice now, Kick Guys I have twice now, um... Obviously, Inside Out, I did used to own, but now I own again, so that's awesome right there. And then, of course, there's Django and Chain, but stuff like Lockstock and The Boondock Saints, Slumdog Millionaire, and The West Side Waltz and Hannah and Her Sisters, those are the ones I've never owned. So, yeah, there you go. Boy, that was sure something right there, wasn't it? I definitely know I wasn't expecting those at all. But a lot of fun indeed. And I figured, you know what, before I wrap up this video, just like, you know, it's going to be very quick. It's not going to be anything too filler. Uh, just a speed through of like me putting each of these discs in my 10 disc case. <laughs> And then I figured so I could have like, you know, a DVD cover, um, I went ahead and put the Bull Moose bag as my little DVD cover right there. Um, hope that's a good look right there. I know the lighting isn't exactly great. Um, but yeah, uh, so yeah, this is a lot of fun. I'm very glad I got to do this video. It really has been such a long, long time since I've done a solo video like this. I do just want to say from the bottom of my heart, uh, it does mean so much that you all comment on my videos. Even with me not being as active on this channel, uh, thank you to those that still subscribe, that still watch my videos, that continue to leave likes on my videos. Like everything you've done, I do just want to say from the bottom of my heart, just thank you, thank you, thank you. And of course, if you all do want to keep up with me, I do have my letterbox. I'm definitely very active on there. That's where you all could see what movies I watch. You could see what movies I rewatch. I'll even do written reviews on there if I feel like it, of course. So if you want to check out my letterbox, please, please, please. Uh, it's good if you want to keep up to date with my movie activity. Highly, highly recommend. And then, of course, I do have my Instagram account. I don't use it a whole lot, but you could go on my 22 Tiger Dude Facebook page as well. Oh, yeah, and Twitter and TikTok. Yeah, that's it, y'all. Thank you so much as always. This is 22 Tiger Dude here. And don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power! 
I am bringing the 22 in 2022. Rawr.